What is the most bizarre reason a customer got angry with you? I had a customer storm upstairs to customer services to make a complaint because we'd moved menswear upstairs and he couldn't get upstairs because of his knees. So he went upstairs. About all I could do was call the support desk and apologize for what they were about to receive. Edit. We had an elevator, but he was also claustrophobic apparently. Oh, the things people wouldn't do to get their complaints across. Sorry I had to go through that, man. I worked at a Burger King in high school. A guy comes in one day complaining he put in money to get a newspaper in the machine outside. And it wasn't the Sunday's paper. He wanted a refund. I told him we didn't own that machine, and we weren't able to give him his money back. I also mentioned to him it was actually Saturday, not Sunday. He flew into a rage, threw last week's Sunday edition of the paper all around the restaurant and behind the counter. My manager comes out and threatens to call the cops. Dude leaves screaming about how he ripped him off. <sighs> Sometimes you can't fix stupid. Agreed mate, stupid is a rampant disease these days. After I handed him his coffee, instead of saying thank you to him, I told him to have a nice day. He sent an email to corporate and my manager telling them I was rude to him because I didn't follow a company standard. Where do these people come from? Oh, agreed mate, where do they come from? Had an older gentleman order a food scale that was like a 10 pound capacity. The platform was a few inches wide. He received it and called me yelling, how the hell am I supposed to stand on this thing? We are a redistributor, and he was also upset that we sold a product with someone else's instructions and name on it. Well, I think that man has his priorities. Yikes. A customer came in to buy hand sanitizer. She brought her bottle to the register to purchase it, saw there was some at the register, then proceeded to share her vast knowledge of swear words with great vigor with me, swearing she would never shop with us again. What? Appropriate reaction there. They noticed I had an accent. I'm from Southern Virginia, North Carolina area, and pointed it out as Russian. I don't know how they possibly thought my accent was Russian, but I corrected them, and they got angry that I was being condescending to them. Wow. Uh, sometimes I really don't know how people think. Lady walked into my office, asking for one of my colleagues. I explained to her that he actually works out of a different office, which is listed in his email signature and our website. She was upset, as she had documents to drop off to him. I explained to her that his office is only three minutes down the street if she wanted to make the drive, or I could scan her documents and email them to him. She refused, so I said, well, you can leave them here with me and I can ask the guy to come pick them up tomorrow. She again said no, because she didn't trust me. I explained that I am the director of operations of the company, basically my colleague's boss. She then yells that she doesn't know me, and this is extremely sensitive information, and storms out. One minute later, she comes in and asks for my business card to prove I am who I say I am. <laughs> I give her one, and she leaves her stuff with me and storms off again. Oh, it's like when your conscience hits and then you get your emotions all riled up. Wow. Worked at Walmart, and this guy went through my line buying something for his tires. He accidentally got two different things. One was a lot more expensive than the other. He got pissed, looking at his receipt, and demanded to know why one cost more money. I looked at the products and noticed one had some gel inserted in the product. I told him this, and he demanded to know why this made the product more expensive. I explained to him I knew nothing about cars and was just a cashier but he could go to customer service to exchange the more expensive product for the cheaper one. He then refused to leave my line until I lowered the price of the more expensive product. By the way, I was working the express checkout line on Friday at 5.30, and a huge line was forming behind this man-child. My manager finally got him to leave the line and go to customer service, though his son was in line behind him and apologized for his father's actions. Well, I'm just glad you got your apology, mate, one way or another. I was working at a coffee and wine bar when I had a man scream at me because he ordered the regular and I didn't know what he wanted. It was my first time meeting him which, catastrophically, aligned with the first time I was left to take care of the register alone. I couldn't get away from the yelling. 
Where the hell do you think you're going? In order to ask the people in the bank what he wanted, his regular got written out, laminated and printed to the cash register after that. He kept screaming, Do you know who I am? Over and over, which, no sir, I do not know who you are. It was the first time we met. Also, it turns out he was no one but a d Yep, sounds like an apt description. A woman I had never met or seen in my life asked me where her kids were. I was confused and said, I'm sorry, I don't know. And she yelled and asked where they put them. She stormed off angry at me. Never had a clue why she asked me. I can tell from your kind eyes that they are in your heart and on your mind. Boy, if that doesn't sound scary, I don't know what does. Got yelled at for saying, no problem, instead of, you're welcome. I've been yelled at by a grumpy old man for the same exact thing. It's a lot of old people's personal pet peeve, apparently, because I've heard it too. That and not liking, I'm good slash you're good. What's wrong with I'm good and you're good? What's wrong with what he said in the beginning? What is wrong with old people these days? Because I didn't open up shop an hour before opening time. Because he was here now, so I opened the store. He kept banging on the door and then threw a metal bucket at my head. Ah, good times. Let me in! Let me in! Ah, always quote Eric Andre. Apparently, when she said she wanted a hot fudge sundae, she meant strawberry sundae. <laughs> yep, ah, food related complaints. Always a good laugh. I applied another discount to the total instead of the promoted discount to save her more money. Had to get into an argument with her just to explain that I'm trying to save her more money. She wasn't having it. I pay more money, I don't fluff in care anymore. This lady at Walmart once got really pissed off at me because we didn't sell pasteurized eggs. And this wasn't the loud, screaming kind of pissed off. She just looked at me very intensely and spoke at a low volume over enunciating every syllable and said, Tell your managers to order pasteurized eggs. This other lady grabbed my arm and started pulling on me, telling me that the fact that we shut down our sewing department felt like we had killed a child, and that less and less people were going to come to Walmart because of stuff like that, and that we'd have to close down. People and their priorities, mate, gotta agree. Pretty strange. She claimed that I was thinking bad thoughts about her, and the resulting negative energy was making her feet bleed. I wasn't thinking bad thoughts about her before that, but I sure as shit was after. <laughs> As is your right, mate. Good lord. I used to deliver pizza. I had someone get irate and refuse the delivery because they'd ordered it to be delivered at 7pm, and I got there at 6.55. I hope you just stood there for five minutes refusing to hand it over till 7 exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. I have two examples. One, I was a teller for almost four years when I was in college, and I remember getting yelled at and customers growing angry with me because they were low on money, or had checks bounce, or a plethora of other reasons due to them lacking funds. How the Sam Hill is that my fluffing fault? Also, in high school, I worked at Toys R Us for a while, and I caught a lady trying to shoplift. She flipped out, and started calling me a racist. The general manager came over and asked her to empty her bag if there was nothing to be found. Sure enough, there were a few pairs of baby shoes in the Babies R Us side of the store, and a small toy. She threw the items on the ground, and stormed off and intentionally knocked over one of our kiosk things. We reported it, but nothing ever happened to her. Unfortunately, that's what happens in most cases, mate. I used to work for Best Buy and Geek Squad, but would cover PC occasionally. I had someone get mad at me because the quality of Intel chips has been steadily going down, and they wanted me to give them a discount to buy an Intel laptop. They obviously knew it was a manufacturer's thing, as they even talked to me about how Intel is pushing their resources into quantum computing, and not advancing current hardware the same way. Like, I can't just call someone at Intel and tell them to change their focus. I can't give you 20% off a new laptop because you dislike AMD and the price for performance doesn't really match anymore. Refused to sell women a Whopper. Worked at McDonald's. Edit. She came in several times after the incident and she was actually very nice. I would recognize her when she would come in, but she didn't act anything like she did again. 
I guess she just had a bad day because she seemed like a very pleasant person. Oh, well, I'm glad there was a happy ending to it all, Meg. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to Reddit Originals for more videos like this. We upload a video each day, so stay tuned.